Okay, to get to the blue spring upgrade, we're gonna have to remove the intake this hose. I am going to take out the air filter housing because I am also gonna work on the EBP sensor, the exhaust back pressure sensor. I'm gonna remove the whole assembly. You can see some of the wiring. So let's get started. This is a 716, eight millimeter. To replace it it's pretty dirty twenty seven Thirteen sixteen, backed up by I believe it's a seven, yeah, seven eighths. I had already taken off the cap, and pretty much it's all drained, so I'm not gonna worry about any spillage. oil line gets in the way. I'm removing the radiator hose to try to see if I can bend it down and have access to the four screws that bolt on to the, to the fuel filter housing. has a spring inside which is what we're replacing so just make sure you don't everything doesn't spring out when I'm taking out the last bolt make sure no thing like I said if you, if you had fuel in there maybe you might want to put a couple of rags so it doesn't leak but it's very minimal in my case so This is the spring we're replacing and the little housing. This is where the blue spring is going to go basically. As far as the radiator hose, I didn't take it all the way. I just unclamped it and basically just loosened it up to give me some wiggle room up there. Because if not, you're going to empty out your whole reservoir. And there's no need for that. Just um, You might not even need to unclamp it. I just did it because of uh, the new, you know, the bulletproof uh 
oil line um, makes it a little bit tighter in there. Okay, so this was the part we took out with uh, the old spring that looks original. The four bolts that hold the little housing. Okay, this is is that from Amazon, so I don't know if it's a knockoff or uh, I don't know if it's gonna leak or not. But uh, it's gotta be better than what I had. Um, we'll see. It's supposed to create about, I, I think uh, the, the regular fuel PSI is about 44, 45, somewhere around there um, under load. This new Blue Spring system should kick it up to about 60 more or less and that should help save your um, injectors basically from starving from fuel. I ran out of fuel a couple of times so I might have already jacked it up so might have to come up with a new video on how to replace injectors. I'm hoping this will fix the, the problem as far as um, any issues that sounded like it was starving from fuel while hauling. I didn't get uh, an initial reading. I should have, but I don't have a. I didn't have a way of measuring the PSI on the the fuel filter. They you do have the option of going to let's say uh, O'Reilly or AutoZone, whatever auto parts, uh, and renting out the the gauge to see uh, how much uh, PSI you're building up. And I believe it shouldn't fall. It shouldn't fall under 40 um, PSI. Anything under 40 is bad for your injectors. Um, so let's start with the assembly. Telling the difference of the weight, this is real cheap. Hopefully, it'll, it'll hold up. This one goes over here, but I believe this part is for like a, an earlier model. This is a 06, so I don't think it had this. This part goes somewhere like that, I believe, in, in the older models. So I don't think I'm going to need that. I do think I'm going to replace this one with this, although inside the fuel filter... There's a green gasket that looks kind of like this, but I'm going to replace this one. Hope I don't screw it up. Oops. It's almost an exact match, it's just a different color. Basically, you just want to press it in. You don't want to roll it. You don't want to have a a twist to it. So just press it down. And this, I believe, goes on the top of the... Like, right through. Equivalent to right there, I guess. But on the fuel filter housing itself. the whole gasket comes out and this is the new one that will be replacing it the famous blue spring there's a little groove in there where the spring is supposed to see Now there's no specific 
torque, or I, I, at least I didn't find it on the book as far as how much to torque these, but I'm gonna go in a crisscross pattern and just give it a little bit more than a, than a little resistance. It's aluminum, very delicate. That is basically it. And if this was it, I just, you know, cycle the key a couple of times just to fill up the, the reservoir with fuel before firing it up.